my review of an Adria Adora 612 DT 2012. Great bit of Okay, so this is the outside of the caravan. I think they're rather stylish looking. Blacked out privacy windows. Um, we've taken the front plastic A-frame cover off and put on a FEMA carry bike which tips and when it's tipped forward and the gas bottle isn't in the way. The door opens just very tight fit. Very large locker. <coughs> One thing to note, I've moved the gas strut because I swapped the spare wheel to this side because I have a spare leisure battery in the front on the other side. The spare wheel normally goes in the driver's side. Um, I switched it round to balance the weight up a little bit because as I say I put a second leisure battery on it because I've got solar panels and I've got a little light LED sensor on a magnet inside which means that this lights up in the evening when it's dark. One of the big advantages of the Yidria, single point, locks and once it locks one key opens the front locker, the front door, the toilet, basically one key opens everything. Um, Idrias have a much longer oil frame, leads for a better tow, more stable caravan and also leaves you room for the bike rack. Um, one modification I have made, I levelled the caravan perfectly and then I stuck on this little jobby. <coughs> and as you'll see it's sitting perfectly level in my shed because the garage floor is nice and level. Okay. Uh, We've got our awning, we run a Campa Air Pro 390 Air awning and I've got, just bought a second set of mirrors because the big ones vibrate a little so I put I got a set of Aero, Malenko Aeros instead of Malenko Grand Aeros We've got here, I'd say barbecue point and if I get the key and open this locker Three sets of keys in the pocket for all for different things. Outside locker. This is a wet locker and it's got an outside electric point so we have an extension lead in there and a little blow in air heater uh, and the cable for that comes out through the bottom here and that means you can have heating or electric in the awning means you can bring the TV and stuff out. Um, <coughs> one word about our awning, it's a 3.9 meter air awning and it fits just and no more into that gap there down the side of the door. Okay so there's a very very small window for it to fit there so we feed it in from the front point here and to make sure it stops in exactly the right place I have a bead stopper up there and that brings the air awning just down the side of this window here you can just about get into the big underbed rear locker split door, bin and if we move inside the caravan this is 2012 trim. The 2011 very very similar and the 2013 also very similar. Really the seating changes and there are a few small colour changes inside but nice u-shaped lounge at the front in case you're wondering why there's a tile lying there it's just to keep the dust and protect our little 12 volt DVD and TV and it's small enough that it'll fit up here. It can also fit up here, over there, or at the back. This is a six berth, so this front converts into a very decent king size bed. 
you just pull the slats out nice and easy and something I've added to the caravan is two USB sockets and a 12 volt power outlet I also added a solar panel in this cupboard here and you've got the 12 or the solar panel manager and I added a little um, digital voltage meter because this one has quit working um, this comes as standard stereo uh, I will not turn it on simply because the sound will interfere so you've got a speaker at the front and another speaker over at the other side okay all windows have fly screens and decent blackout blinds this pulls forward a little bit and this flips up we'll pull that forward as you can see everything matches that pulls up gives you a nice little occasional table if there's two adults wanting to have a game of board game or something or have a cup of tea um, I wouldn't advise you put it up and let kids play because they'll end up wrecking it <laughs> it's not for leaning on <coughs> the cushions come on the caravan down here that's the water heater it's all to do with the water heater so that one's for electric and this one's for gas in the storage cupboard you have a folding up table which is very good for the awning or obviously for the dinette area when this dinette area converts into bunks really good sturdy bunk by the way and it has a clip on section that on the back here to protect the window the blind and also the child from rolling out uh, and that's what these cushions are for it's to help keep the light out and you'll see there's a curtain reel along the top and a decent heavy blackout curtain which hangs all the way to the floor the table forms part of the bottom bed the leg folds in two places number one it folds in the second place and that lets you hook it out at the far end and put it down and this is our parallelogram bed loads of storage in the address absolutely fantastic we have three kids they have a cupboard each good lighting too so when the top bunk's made up the ever's in the bottom bunk which is our little lady she's got her own dedicated night light or reading light uh, the middle sized fella he sleeps in this bunk and he's got two lights He's got a nice strip LED up above, and he also has more LEDs in behind. So as I say, plenty of lights, and again at the front, quite good. Or you can turn these way down for a little bit of mood lighting. Let's just turn those off to give you an idea. So much, much lower lighting if you want. Um, okay kitchen area really good kitchen question we always get asked is and we work this out ourselves why is the door on back to front and the answer is the Europeans use their awnings a lot and when you're out in the awning and you want to reach in for a bottle of sauce a packet of cereal or whatever you want out of the larder it's much easier to get and when you're in the kitchen it's not that big a deal to reach out over the top very clever good width okay three burner hob separate grill good oven uh, only comes with one oven shelf as standard so we bought a little second one it just gives you a bit more use you want to do a pizza and a garlic bread because we all like a bit of garlic bread with our pizza very good fridge um, this box at the bottom is removable completely and then this helps stuff not move around too much and a little separate freezer and you can see we have some plastic ice cubes and a couple of freezer blocks in there all standard Thetford stuff that moves that flips down so good fridge sorry just let me get that back where it should be there we go uh, 
drawers are massive. I've actually glued these in place permanently. That's just little cutlery holders. That's how deep the drawer is. The cutlery can stand up. And you've still got plenty of space left. So you've got two good drawers. And underneath a little flip down storage area. You've got a flip down storage area here too. So we have an extra drainer. And a little drainer tab. Saucepans. All the sort of kitchen stuff. In the one place. <coughs> what is this? And the answer. You pull this out. One handed it's very difficult. And it gives you a lot more preparation space okay so we get quite a good full size sink decent drainer and you'll see obviously that's where we keep our water pump and again fly screen blackout blind okay up above we got our plates little plate storage rack in there on our bowls in the middle one we have our microwave and the reason that that's there actually is it helps stop the door of a microwave from opening because uh, on one very long journey I arrived into the caravan to find I had broken the microwave dish and again glass and cup racks at the back and a couple of storage area fantastic amount of storage now this cupboard is just look at the amount of storage space in this thing three excellent drawers that's a toaster bottle of pims and a few other bits and pieces nice big jug for the pims we haven't got around to gotten it out because we haven't finished for the season yet <coughs> little naughty bits and again carrying on here Truma heater uh, on the Adora range you have both gas and electric options so that's the ultra heat so that's the settings if you're using the electric and then this is the settings for the gas and this works off 12 volt which is the blowing air Again, massive amount of storage in the Adria. You've got a good wardrobe with a hanging reel. Um, a decent shelf. You could put more shelves in if you wanted. I did on my last caravan, but battery vacuum, fire blanket. Master on-off switch and fuse box. And the on-off valve for the gas in the fire. Now my favourite bit. The king size master bed. Brilliant, comfortable, plenty of space, decent enough access. I suppose if you're a little older, the idea of getting in and out of the bed through just one corner might be a little awkward. And it's why either the singles or the island bed options are probably more popular. But when you've got three kids, you can't afford it. Now, how do we block off the master bedroom? The answer is this unit slides out. Got a little bit of storage in here. Well, what we really have in here, we move the false bottom and we look inside. We've got a 12 volt power socket. Oops. And we also have a 230 power socket as well. <laughs> this is where you can mount a TV, but it makes a very small TV. It's not designed for modern widescreens. And it flips around so it can be watched from either side. And there's a little hole in the top where the power cables can be fed down in from. Um, you'll see I've got a bit of TV bump, um, remote controls, extra extension cables for your phones. So that if we're watching the TV in bed and the little ones are already asleep, they don't have to listen to mum and dad's TV. So I'm going to let you see it from the other side. Lastly, let's shut the area off with a full sliding door so mum and dad get some decent privacy at night. Okay, so that's what the 
caravan would look like all with the back shut off really good sized hanky roof light plenty of ventilation during the day so <coughs> let's put some more lights on plenty of lights again storage in the area is just fantastic the little one still at night needs the the nappies oh. again loads of storage space toothbrushes toothpastes 240 volt again more storage more storage spare bathroom toilet tissue uh, gives a impression of more space and last but not least the bathroom <coughs> combined shower which <laughs> we never use and we've put some decent thick padding because it's quite cold in the feet this window is frosted as standard shower curtain again as i say we don't use it and you'll see where the that doesn't have their um breathing system again i have a little sensor light which at night will sit there and if any of the kids come in turns the light on for them they don't have to find any switches at night they can all find their way essential for keeping everything clean and fresh and the switches much to my amusement at the start but again everything makes sense and logic the bathroom light is the one furthest away because the door half covers it and this one is the one for this area in here or the washroom all right so that's those again this area the back bedroom plenty of ventilation to keep the thing nice and fresh and let a bit of light in but blackout blinds again we've got nice mood lighting around the top and underneath a reading light and a shelf each which is good really good king size bed um, what we did was my good lady modified and took the corner off a set of bedding which makes it all nice and neat and again phenomenal amount of storage if you're going away for any length of time plus of course you can store stuff underneath the king size bed now something about the area that personally i really like nothing leans against the outside wall okay so the headboard keeps things away all of the cupboards have these scoops in them which let the air up the back and it can get all the way round and out the top and it means that there are no cold spots there are nowhere nowhere in the van where you get static or stagnant air it's one of the reasons that Adria's have almost no damp in them again if we go into the kitchen there are scalloped backs and all the covers and the air can get out the top it just means that there's airflow all around the van the heating pipes <coughs> oh oh i'm not really going to be able to show you in here very well they're up at the front here the heating pipes are all perforated all the way along so the air that's running through the ventilation system is getting out all the way around the caravan <coughs> coming up behind the seats and up in behind the cupboards the only drawback is you need to be a bit careful because things can work their way down for instance i occasionally would find a cd <laughs> slipped out the back there <coughs> all in all very comfortable very warm van we like it very much it's got fitted carpets and again you can see these gaps to let the air flow all around the caravan and um, another storage cupboard underneath we keep all our kids entertainment stuff around it's damp um, storage is just phenomenal storage underneath these seats obviously underneath the front the front seats storage underneath the master bed which flips 
sideways and you can get storage in from the outside as well so really good storage brilliant for three stroke four kids we have three um, one thing I didn't say is typical in an Adria the awning light is not above the door if the awning light is above the door so I'm told because I've never had a van that did have an awning light above the door it means when you step out you're stepping into a shadow on the step so you're sort of creating your own shadow whereas in the Adria because it's off to the side it means you're lighting up your awning and you're not creating yourself a shadow so you can still see the step and you can still get in and out of the van more safely um, um, I will now let you have a quick look at the underbed locker we keep light stuff but a big volume in here so we've got awning carpet legs for the Caddock barbecue uh, seats, windbreak I apologise for the noise that's just the tree outside letting us know it's there I must have to trim the branches <coughs> back of the caravan does not have a window on it which I don't find a problem you're not going to really look and see an awful lot through a caravan of that size anyway and if we go round to the other side I'm not going to show you too much down there because it's a bit too dark for uh, a GoPro first locker is the battery box beside it is the water input uh, next up is the gas cover and then down at the back of the caravan is the waste outlets and the toilet box and up at the top you'll see there is a area for the radio and that great bit of kit this is our second did you I don't think while they do a layout that suits me I would buy another brand I'm just very impressed with their overall build